Right, now there was uh, something that um, I didn't mention the other day. Uh, and that is that you can make up a, a very simple chart, tuning chart, for your favourite band. Very, very simple thing to do. All you need to do is just write uh, band and then inductor, then TX cap and then antenna cap. Yeah, you can do this um, carefully if you want do it on Excel or something like that and you can say okay um, uh, 10 meters 20 meters 40 meters 80 meters and you can draw up a, a little chart like that As I say, this is just extremely rough, as you can see it. But uh, all you need to do is, if you've got yourself one of these little antenna analyzers, we'll put the tuner into a default position, which is A, maximum inductance, and both capacitors set to 50%. There's no weight in that tuner at all. Um, and uh, we'll cold tune it with the little antenna analyzer. So we'll start off on 10 meters. So we go to 28 megs. There we go. Tw that's 28.5 megs. And it doesn't actually look that bad, uh, to be perfectly honest. But we'll start uh, we'll, we'll start taking out inductance and see see what we get. Saying it's 1.6 to 1 at uh, 58 ohms. I suspect because this is maximum inductance that um, it probably won't like tuning there. And remember too that this is a, a T match and T match um, antenna matches. Uh, are most efficient with most capacitance least inductance. Now we know that A is the maximum inductance on this tuner so we're going to take some inductance out and see if we can get something that looks like it's going to tune nicely on there for us. And just uh, just a reminder that um, I, I'll just bypass the tuner for a second and we can see there that's 138 ohms. This is the This is what the antenna looks like without any kind of matching at all. It's a 3.1 to 1 SWR and it's a 138 ohm match on the antenna port there. And remember that when we've tuned it, when we've matched it, that impedance on that antenna port will still be 138 ohms. It will be 50 ohms on the, on the transmitter port where you connect your radio, but on the antenna port it's still going to be 138 ohms. And if you wanted to work out the voltage across that antenna port or across the capacitor, it's the square root of the power times the impedance. So it would be 100 watts, for example, times 138. And then it will be the square root of that, and that will give you the voltage on your antenna port. OK, well, let's take some inductance out and oh, let's put the tuner back in first and then take, take some inductance out and see if we can get something that looks like it might tune on uh, 28 megs it's not doing very much see if I'd moved those capacitors around they probably would have done very little I, I would say taking all that inductance out nothing's happening even more R remember we want the least inductance we can get away with right, that one that one, that one there, that one there, that one there, okay. So that is J, so we've gone past the sweet spot. So the next inductance up from J is I, because it's, uh, strangely enough, the closer you get to A, the more inductance you have. So I is less inductance than J. <laughs> and now we'll try, uh, now we'll try to bring that in. Let me just tweak that a little bit, that transmit capacitor. It's coming down. It's coming down quite nicely actually. Four, two, one, zero. Huh. Well that was that was pretty effortless, wasn't it? Look at that match. 
you can see that's SWR one to one impedance 50 ohms I say this is an antenna it's not a resistive load um, and uh, the center frequency there in this vertical line is uh, 28.5 megahertz and um, that looks like a nice healthy tune so what we'll do is we'll make a note of the settings so the inductor is I the transmit cap and I'm trying to look around the camera and the tripod here to to get this I'd say that's 7.5 and the antenna capacitor is what's that 5.5 Okay, so that's our that's our tune for 28.5 megs. Now we'll go to uh, 20 meters. So we'll just change that to 14 megs. 14.1 megs. We'll put that back to the starting point. Like that. Okay, that's the default start tuning position A and both of the capacitors on 5 and we'll take out some inductance you can see that SWR is gradually creeping down on the analyzer there we take the inductance out That's not bad at all, is it? That's 1.1 and 40 ohms. And we go just gone on to I. Okay, so well, let's see if we can tweak that in. 1.1. Okay, that's one. We need the impedance up a little bit. Get the impedance to come up to something that's uh, reasonable there. No, it's not going to quite come in, I don't think, with that one. Let's give it one more go. No. Uh, it's 1.2. 1 1.1. 1. 1. I thought I was just on the verge of trying the slightly less inductance, but that looks like a nice healthy tune. As you can see, center frequency 14.1 megs, SWR is 1 to 1, and impedance there is 50 ohms. Now that's on uh, 20 meters, so we look at the inductor. The inductor is on H, TX cap is on, camera's in the way, I'd say that's 3, antenna capacitor is on 6.5. So you can see we're getting a very simple chart just to look at that and go from band to band and that will put the tuning, just set, set the controls to those settings and, and, the, and the tuner is going to be right in the ballpark. Be quite safe to put RF from your transceiver through it on those bands. So move on to 40 metres. Back to A. 5 and 5. And we'll take the inductance out. See that SWR? Yeah. Coming down. Gone back up again. That's looking better. I mean, that's showing 1 to 1 and 53 ohms. That's on G. Inductance G. Just try and give in that a tweak. That might just nip in there. 1.2, take a bit of that out, no, it's just not going to find the, not going to find the sweet spot on that one I don't think, I'll just try taking a bit more inductance out, oh look at that, <laughs> all I did was flick the switch and it's gone straight to SWR1 impedance 50 ohms and that's a nice healthy looking nice healthy looking waveform so on uh, on 20 meters then wait a minute 
I've just tuned that. I've just got the same result. Oh, it'd help if I actually changed the frequency, wouldn't it? So I'm 40 metres. <laughs> oh, well, at least it's a repeatable result. That's pretty good, isn't it? OK, well, let's try a different frequency. Let's try actually tuning it on. There we go. Now the uh, now we're going to tune it on 40 metres. So we'll put that there. We'll put that there. It's both capacitors back to 5. Inductance back to A. And then we'll turn the inductance round. So there's no weight in either of these items, so they, they do move around. Apologies for that. So both caps set to the middle. And there we go. Sorry if I'm grunting a bit, but I'm crouched behind this blooming camera on a tripod here, and it makes it a little bit awkward. Still removing inductance, round to E, F. You can see that coming in now on the antenna analyzer. That's G. Mm. That's H. That's G. That doesn't look bad at all. We'll just try giving that a bit of a tweak there. 3.6, 3 3.1, 3 this 0.654. Take that back down. No, I don't think that's. That sort of gives you the impression that it's probably going to tune. But uh, no, I don't think it will. I'm going to try that one. Yeah, and that looks happier. I think we're going to get a match on this one. Ooh, going to get cramp here in a minute. 2.5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Yeah, 1.9, 1.8. Yeah, you can see that shaping up nicely now. It's 1.6. Take a bit of that out, maybe. Hmm, that looks a bit... Yeah, that's going to be a bit stubborn. Try a bit more loading. Move that over a bit like that. There you go, 50 ohms, 1.2. That's a bit better. There we go. And then just bring that back up. Like that. OK. So... SWR1, impedance 50 ohms, nice healthy looking pattern on the um, uh, SWR and uh, impedance curves on the analyzer. So this is 7093, so that's our 40 meter setting. So we'll make a note of those settings. So the inductor is on H, the transmitter is on 4. The antenna is on, got to lean over the camera, 7, I'd say that is, yeah, 7. OK, so now we'll try 80 metres. So we'll put that back there, we'll put that back there, to there, 3.6 megs. OK. See the... Uh, there we go. Surprised that we're taking out quite so much inductance, but hmm, blimey. That sort of looks, yeah, I think it's probably going to be E. I'll try moving the transmitter. Hmm, okay. So that's fives as low as it's going to go on the transmitter. See what we can do with this one here, bring that impedance up a bit. Ooh. And a bit more there. Oh, four. There we go. 
bring that up a bit more bring that back over there give that another tweak on there there we go it's gone green 2.4 whoops 2.4 2.6 bring that up again Oop. too far I'll just try bringing that in oh yeah there we go oops so below two there there we go 1.6 1.7 bring it up on that side on the, on the antenna 64 ohms oops take it out of that one 1.2 39 ohms I think that's 50 ohms, 49 ohms. Let's give that a tweak. And you can see how narrow that's got on the uh, 3.6 meg frequency. Yeah, that's really quite uh, finicky. Okay, so that's 50 ohms and 1.3. So you can see what my hand is sort of affecting it slightly, getting near it. There we go. A little more there. Just a little more. There we go. Just touching the knob makes it 50. There we go. So SWR is 1. Impedance is 50 ohms. And you can see how you can see how narrow that is. There we go. SWR one impedance is fifty ohms. Very very narrow bandwidth tune, but we're tuned and we're on eighty meters. We're on three point six megs. So on eighty meters, we can say the inductor goes on E. Transmit is on 7.5 and the antenna is on 2. And there's our so there's our handy little band changing chart. So just to prove the point, it's on 80 meters now, 3.6 megs. You can see there, 3.6 megs. So we'll just put it back to Actually, no, we won't. We'll just change bands. Let's change bands to uh, 20 meters. We want to go on to 20 meters. We're on 80 meters at the moment. We want to go on 20. So we'll just change that to the 20 meter band. So that's going to be our 14 point, whatever it was, frequency, 14.1. So if I say, OK, I'm going to set the inductor to H. Then I'm going to set the transmit cap to 3. And I'm going to set the antenna cap to 6.5. Look at that. Just like that. With that little chart, once, once you've made yourself a little chart like that, that's how easy it is to do. We've just changed bands from 80 metres to 20 metres. SWR1. Impedance 50 ohms. So you could, without the analyzer, you could just use the chart, put those settings in on 20 meters, put some RF through it, and you'd be quite confident that there'd be no problems. I hope you found that useful or, and or interesting. Thanks for watching.